Hi, welcome to another lesson in the series on Git and GitHub for Beginners. In this particular lesson, we're going to learn how to install Git on any operating system that you are using. So we'll start looking at that for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So if you need to use Git on your computer, then you would need to install it or have it installed on a computer but then the installation varies depending on the operating system you are using so if you are on a windows machine there are a couple of ways that you can go about it to install git on your computer i'm just going to walk you through it and i'll share resources that you can use as a guide to also help you install it all right so right now on this particular machine that i'm using or computer i'm using to record the video it is a desktop it's a windows computer and this windows computer i've already installed it on it but then i'll walk you along the line so for windows machines you may need to use one install get itself so i'll quickly switch there then we see how it is you just download the installable file then double click on it follow the prompts and install get the other way that you can go about it is installing what we call Git Bash, which is essentially a terminal that has Git enabled in it. It allows you to use all the Git commands that we will look at in that particular terminal. So Git Bash, the good thing about Git Bash is once you install Git Bash, it comes as a full package with Git installed in it. So if you are going with Git Bash, which is usually the commonest way that people get started with git bash if you are totally new to this and you are you you don't know how to find words like you struggle to use a computer i suggest that you go install git bash because i mean subsequently i may be using git bash to do the examples then there is another option of installing github desktop in our next video we'll look at what github is but github desktop is a, a desktop application that you get to install which will automatically install git on your computer give you access to not just a terminal or not just a command line that you are going to enter commands but also you have a graphic user interface where you could be doing clicking using your mouse to move around and doing all the other things that you are going to learn about git all right so to be able to get a guide to follow you could i'm going to share these links right this is the site for downloading github desktop you can just come here download github desktop install it and you have something like this and there is this site that i'm going to share with you from github.com they are resource on how to install git and i think it's extensive enough for any version that you are using or any operating system that you are using you could use this as a guide so if you want to install or get on windows you could just click on this to go and download git then you install it or you could use git bash as i said to install git bash or github desktop as is explained here so for github desktop you just have to download it and you would follow the prompt if you are on a mac what happens mostly is for mac devices and linux devices it happens such that by default git is usually installed on the particular distribution that you have but if it happens that you don't have git installed then these are how you go about it to install it but i think before you even start to install the first thing you have to do is to check whether git is already installed or not all right so to check that i mean you could open up any terminal depending on the operating system that you are using so i said that i'm using windows for that matter in on windows i could use either the cmd or powershell to as the terminal to access so now i've opened powershell to get or to check whether the git is installed on this computer or not i enter the command git version remember from our last video i said that git commands always begin with uh, git the keyword git so as i type git the command is version that means gives give me the version of git if you hit enter and it gives you an output like this git version 2.3 I mean if it gives you an output and not an error then it means that git is already installed but if it comes with an error then you know that git is not installed the same will apply to both whether you're using linux or mac all you need to do is to enter 
get version and it will give you an idea or a clue whether git is installed on your computer or not if it is not installed and you are using mac a mac os or a mac device then what you can do is use your package manager like homebrew to install it you can use the homebrew package manager to install it so the guide is here basically open up a terminal and type in brew install git then it's going to install it for you all right and once it's installed you can go ahead and check the version the other thing you can do is just download the installer then double click on it and install it as you do to other uh, softwares or applications the last bit is for linux users if you do not already have git installed that is you run git version and it gives you an error then you want to go ahead and install git on it but the installation process depends on the particular linux distribution that you are using for instance, if you are using uh, Debian Destro, or I mean uh, Ubuntu service and not maybe Fedora to I mean for each of the distros there is a particular way to go about it. So for a Debian Destro, you just use the package manager apt get right apt get or yeah so you just go ahead and do sudo apt get install get all and that will install git on your device if you are using the federal distro then you are going to use dnf so sudo dnf install git or and that would install it for you so essentially that is how to install git on any device whether windows mac or linux right then after you've installed it after you've installed it the first thing that you want to do before you start using git is to configure it and in the configuration this is something that you are probably going to do just once for every computer that you want to use so if this computer is what you are going to use then you do that installation once and that will be it to configure it you are going to configure in this particular video i'm focusing on just the name and the email the reason why this is important is because when you are taking snapshots as i have already explained that that is how git works anytime you take a snapshot in that snapshot that you have taken the identity of the snapshot we are going to keep track of who took that snapshot so who did that or oh, so that we could always revert remember i talked about how we are able to collaborate with other developers on the same project so if anything happens any changes that we are tracking we should be able to tell who specifically made this change and we'll do that through the uh, email and their name so you should be able to set an email and a name for the computer or the get that get on that computer so that anytime that you are working you could uh, it, it would take those snapshots and associate it with your name and email so how do you do that it's as simple as writing the command get config then we want to do it for everything like every repository uh every folder that we're going to be working in git with okay so you just do dash dash global so that it takes up globally you could do local as well just to focus on the specific repository you're working on but then for now let's just focus on a larger scale doing it so that we don't have to reconfigure it again so git config dash dash global then user dot name Okay, then you put your name. So mine will be Obed Ehonia in quotation marks. The same way you do get config dash dash global user dot email. Please don't forget the dot dot email, then space your quotation marks, whatever the email is. So Ehonia Obed at whatever then close your bracket each after each of them you hit enter right and it will be set so let me open PowerShell again I shouldn't have closed it PowerShell so that I'll show you that I already have that configured on my computer so as soon as you go about and you do that you're going to be able to see it so get config so it gets config i said that's that's global 
to set the name right anytime that you want to really change or like change the name to something else you can still run it again then you put the name say obed ehonia like this okay but i already have it so what i want to do is to show you a list of my configuration details all right so this is a list get config dash dash list remember that all get commands begin with get so get config list i'm saying that hey give me the list of all my get configurations and what you see here right now is that my name username is equal to Elenia obed then user.email is equal to Elenia obed at hotmail.com so i already have this sorted out and by now if you do it accurately you should also have that sorted out okay so i hope that makes sense and that is how you install get on any device and now we are ready to get started playing with git in the next video we're going to learn about hosting platforms for git and subsequently we'll look at how to use git i mean practically i hope you're enjoying the series if you are enjoying it give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you are yet to and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye